one is out of ATM machine. That's horrible. Now there are some Christians who say, well, you know, we have a bookstore and we have an ATM machine there, so they don't count that, even though the ATM machine is still inside the church. What's wrong with the ATM machine, a metal object being in the church versus somebody having a fleshy hand carrying something around for you to put in the, you know, no. basket? What's the difference? What's the last time you go to church? Mentally or oh, physically? Right. Physically, my brother. Uh, physically, it's been a while. Mentally, I'm there okay, every they day. They don't pass ATM machine through No, no, the no, no, no. I wasn't saying that. I'm saying the ATM machine is a piece of hardware. Okay. And there is a human quality about somebody saying, pass this down the rows to... Pass this down the rows. Right. So pass I'm saying, the what's the I'm difference? Listening. What's the difference between the two? Because you don't have to go to the hardware machine if you don't want to. I don't know. I just... I mean, let's put it this way. When I go to visit other churches, when we go to my own church and what have you, it's something that I want to do. I want to support the community mm. that, you know, especially if they're doing, you know, um, um, Christian service where, you know, the money goes towards uh, assisting less fortunate people. Do you yes. know what I mean? Because I can't get out in the streets and do it all the time, you know. Right. So I, I trust that the church, and they show us, you know, they do show us, you know, where they where they have. I've gone to some of the mega churches, you know, not far from here. Mm -hmm. And what I like that they do is, and, and this is true, Shirley, mm -hmm. the people that are having a hard time paying their utilities or whatever, they will, these churches, if you're a member, not they all, will. But yeah. Although what I'm saying is yes. I, I, that, you know, there, there I are... I think that's the purpose of the church, though. You know, yes, you get into the mm -hmm. storehouse, when do you open the store? That's always all I say. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to get the, the you've got to help you know, the people, especially well, in these the times. the priest lives in a huge, big mansion. But ATM... By the ocean. ATM, <laughs> I don't like that either. But come on, ATM machines that in is, churches. What's wrong with the ATM? I haven't well, heard a good... It is, it is, what's wrong with it? It's wrong. It's progressive. It's wrong. Because Why is it wrong? The portion of the Bible it talks about where Jesus went in and they were starting to sell goods and he kicked them all out. That's not what the kingdom of God is about. That's not what the body of Christ is about. That's not what the word of God is about. For greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. God has great things for this country. He has great things well, for the believers who are Jesus Christ. Line. I understand that. But you don't need to have 18 machines in the church. You need to go there and whatever well, money you get, you give. They don't, I think it's always a form of pressure for you to put more money out than you had prepared for. No, it's nothing like pressure. I'm telling you. I'm going to tell you something. Like pressure, so master, Let me tell you. come up and say, sorry, y'all, we got uh, only hey. 110. We only have 2,000. I need wait another 1,000. We need to go to 18 machine and pull it out there's right There's no now. pressure like somebody. We need cash. There's we need no, cash. There's no, no pressure cash. like somebody saying, here's the basket, and everybody's going down, and each person's putting in a something in the envelope and then that they wait wait, 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 the pressure is to me no different or far worse when it gets to you and everybody may be looking left, right, and you just skip and go to the next person. I said, so isn't somebody asking you for money? The ATM machine is you volunteering yourself to go get the money. What's the difference? The difference is the pressure that could be asked by the minister for you to bring more money. And then, by the way, you got an ATM machine out in the hall. So it's pressure. Put the numbers on. So no, it's not pressure. So what is it's it? It's a matter of choice. There is, a, there Thank is you. Christian guilt so that she's <laughs> saying that they could tap me. Right. That is the point I'm saying. You know saying. what I'm saying? There's no guilt. Because you know, there there's always things people pass. I ain't giving no money. People ask money all the time. You That's can right. go to events that are not Christian related. Right. And you give what you can. When right. you go to spoken word events, right. they pass around an envelope for the key right. spoken word person. That's not abnormal. Oh, right. But the little twisted is having an 18 machine in the street. I see nothing What's different. The they have to be I progressive. See. I see what makes no, I'm not using I'm not using my ATM card at the church. I ain't gonna do wait, that. You know, I'm sorry. Wait, wait, it's wait. The same thing with the people. That. Okay, what about? Uh -huh. Do you do, do me ask you this? Do you support? Um, cash withdraws automatically out of your checking account. I don't churches. support. I don't support. Because no. you know there's some churches no. that have automatic cash withdrawal. People, you're your member, and you allow your minister to take your L money off the child. Listen, let me. Let, the reason why I'm saying this: if I'm coming to the church, I don't even have to look at the ATM machine. I just need to go directly. What you're talking to is that base of people who probably are sensitive, feel guilty, don't feel no, confident. No, no, I'm I don't, not. No, no, listen, you know, what you're I'm saying. Well, wait, wait a minute. Because if you say it's wrong. If you say it's wrong, you say it's wrong for them to put that machine in there. I said, give me the argument why it's wrong. I what is the purpose of the church? If you understand the purpose of the church, why it's not it? about big businesses and banking. Those are two different things. So ATM is, is, big is not big business? About big business. It's not about banking. It has evolved to that. So, so, or and it's had to be ran like that because of the mass mega churches. Let me say this. 
We already know how much the average pastor makes in the U.S., $35,000 a year. So the big no, business... No, no. makes more than that. No, no, no. I'm saying this. It's a matter... We'll say true. No, 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 no. No, we'll say true. I'll, get the, we'll I'll get the facts for you because it was, it was already reported. It was already reported and I didn't get the... I didn't get the uh, numbers to display in my fault, but okay. it was already a research. It was a factoid that was actually the reference which website you can go to, and they make average thirty-five thousand dollars a year. The point I'm saying is, is when you sit here and say this, I said, I'm going to give you an idea. If I'm at a church and the pastor says, "Give whatever you can give," you're going to give whatever you can give. Okay. If the pastor said, "Can you give a minimum of a hundred dollars?" Is there a difference? We're talking about 18 well, I'm, I'm, I'm just asking. I'd be I, putting my $20 just, back in my pocket. <laughs> I'm just saying, is there a difference? I, mean, I don't want that kind of pressure anyway. Do you know what I mean? I just don't want that kind of I, pressure you know because I'm going to I give from my what the scripture hum. says that ask and it shall be given. That's right. You have to ask. So I'm saying to I, you. you know, and all yeah, but how much? But you know, yeah. that's a question. But you also can know how to say no. Just say no. That's how a, we can strong. Shirley, you. this is the part I'm actually agreeing with you. I said. No way. He's finally agreeing. No, no. Shirley, I agree. No, I agree with you. Chocolate it's nothing wrong with that person asking. It's, uh, it's the, your chocolate too, and even darker than I am, but set my elbow. Uh, ch check it out. And it's your nothing. Mentioned last week. <laughs> <laughs> don't you go to, Don't go there. It's a compliment. Let me I just say this. No, but what I'm saying, I don't. I don't. I, I mean, I. They're I've, going. They're going to go with the progressive. Any I've, church business I, because church does have to deal with business too, Shirley. And and I agree with you. I'm just let's put it this way. I'm not using my ATM machine Thank you. For card at I'm not going Thank to you. do that. Now, now, Danny, this is a point. Here's a point. Give a check or, or I'm, I'm not prepared. Just, you're already prepared. And I don't want that money? pressure. Do not right. pressure me. Right. It's the same thing with candidates. So you're, so you're, it's the same thing with, with political candidates. Wait, wait a minute. How so? wait, wait a minute. Let me just say this. I don't, I don't want to have an ATM machine. Danny, know, are you, aren't you talking about choice? Well, that's what I'm saying. There's some people that may want to use it, Shirley. I, I'm not saying that. Say that's all Shirley, I'm saying. There are people that don't Just even choice. carry cash. We're going to a paperless that's society, true. so, that's true. you know. I, I'm going to go and look at the ATM machine and start laughing and keep on walking. Now, when it's wrong, I say, okay, give me what's wrong. But when if I there's go. a cause that you want to support thank at you. or any because organization, a politician, thank too, you. Don't you will go to your ATM machine. We're getting away from, from the Christian. Well, we're from spirituality. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's <laughs> what, what, wait a minute. Let me help you out. Okay. You have to have balance. We started the show talking about needs, wants, and desire. Right. If you don't have a balanced um, nature about you, you're going to have some... some some issues. You're I agree. Going to be off centered, right? I agree. The purpose of the church is that it brings and recharges you. Recharge spiritually, right. emotionally, and physically, knowing that the Lord is on your side. You're reading scriptures. The pastor's telling you, "Ask God for forgiveness for your sin." Right. Whatever the topic may be, faith, health, healing, peace, love, I whatever. Yeah. But then you have ATM machines there. But do you know not? And do you know some churches? I listen to you. Some no. churches, their whole emphasis is about money. That's and in wrong. And crises well, where people are unemployed, I people agree. are losing their houses, people are are, are committing suicide, people are, are just being terrorists and racist. Right. I mean, I, hey, I look at it no different. I agree with you, Shirley, on this. The part that I'm trying to say is, is that one, most people need to know that most m money that is funded in the church system comes from the elderly. Okay. Which means that they're the ones who really suffer the most because they're usually targeted for various reasons. Now, some of them voluntarily give their money. And I know that it's a trickle-down thing. We can look at the pros and the cons. All I'm saying is, is that at the same time, I said, I used the analogy of a man standing up in front saying, I need at least $100 from you guys. Okay. That you know what that happened. I know, and I know it. And I'm saying, is that when I was in college, I had literally, I had two dollars on me. Right. I hadn't got my money from my parents and what have you. And and what had happened? What? And my uncle was my uncle was in Africa at the time shooting. So I was like down to like my last like fifty or hundred or something. So I was like, okay, look, let me take five dollars. I went and got something to eat before I went to this church. I was invited. And I was sitting kind of sort of up in the front, and the, the pastor, preacher, priest, whatever his name is, he was looking at everybody when they were passing the bucket, and he was like, I don't want to see fives and ones. I want to see 20s and 50s. I That's when you should have walked off. No, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 took, I took my, my $2.